Hey there Ninja, I'm Stephanie Stevedi and today we're going to talk about ganache. Now a lot of people think that chocolate ganache is very fancy because it's got a French name, but really like you can't get much simpler than a chocolate ganache. Ganache is basically chocolate and hot liquid mixed together until the chocolate is melted and then you have a basically a, a chocolate liquid, right? <laughs> like that's it. You can make a very, very thin ganache with a lot of extra liquid and that would be hot chocolate. Or you can make a very, very thick ganache with less liquid and more chocolate and that would become like a frosting, right? And somewhere in the middle would be like a ganache glaze that you can pour over stuff. You can't really get much simpler than that, but there are some tricks to a ganache that I want to point out. And in this video, we're going to actually be talking about making a peanut butter ganache, but the, the, the method is basically the same. So what you want to do is you want to take your cream and your peanut butter and your butter, regular butter, and you want to put it in a small pot and you want to heat it very gently over a low heat. And I mean gently because you don't want to scorch your cream and your peanut butter. It will cause it to burn and it'll taste terrible. And just very slowly bring it up to almost a boil. You don't really want to take it much above 180 degrees. And you'll notice it's the right temperature because it's just starting to steam and it develops little tiny bubbles around the edge of the pot. And that's when it's perfect. And then what you do is you take it out of the pot and you put it, you mix it into your chocolate. Actually, you don't mix it. You pour it over your chocolate and then you let it sit for one minute. And what's happening is the heat from your cream is slowly melting the chocolate. After one minute, you take a fork and you just very gently or a little whisk, you very gently like start whipping very gently in the middle of the ganache. And what's gonna happen is if, as you whip the middle, you'll notice that it goes from just being this like weird cream and chunky chocolate mixture to actually a beautiful, shiny, dark brown, glistening goodness, perfect ganache, right? And as soon as you see that, start making bigger circles with your whisk or your spoon and slowly incorporate the entire bit of chocolate and cream into one beautiful, glossy mass of ganache. Now, here's what you're doing. You're actually building an emulsion and emulsions can be a little persnickety and this is why you don't want to overheat the cream and this is why you don't want to like mix the chocolate too quickly. You want to let it sit so that the chocolate gently melts and then as you as everything kind of like becomes closer to the same temperature all the fats between the chocolate and the cream will come together more easily. Then you just start very gently stirring or whipping the middle and again you want to be gentle. You don't want to like whip the holy hell out of it because that just isn't going to be super effective. And then as you build the core of the ganache, then you start whipping and incorporating more of the outside until you have just a beautiful glossy like bowl of ganache. And that's the goal. Now the recipe that I've included on this page is going to be like a, a thinner ganache. So it's perfect for glazing. Like if you want to cover donuts, if you want to pour it over cake, that would be great. If you want to make an actual chocolate ganache frosting that you can pipe, you're going to want to double the amount of frosting, or sorry, double the amount of chocolate. Doubling the amount of chocolate will give it more mass and make it thicker once it cools. Now here's the other thing with ganache. Ganache, when it's warm, is super, super thin, right? So if you pour it on something when it's hot, it'll just run off and run all over the place, right? And if you want to, if you make a thicker ganache that you want to pipe, if it's too hot, it won't pipe. It'll just, again, just run all over the place. So you want to let your ganache sit for like three hours before you do anything with it. This will allow it to kind of come to temperature, figure out like what consistency it's going to settle at, and then you can work with that. But if you start like trying to work with your ganache right away, uh, you're going to run into some problems. It's definitely better to let it come to room temperature first. So somewhere on this page, you will find a recipe or a link to the recipe for this chocolate peanut butter ganache. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and drop them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. The recipe is hosted on fearlessfresh.com. And as always, if you want to become a faster, more creative home cook, it is the place to go. Have a good one.